I want to make a screen recording of a little PowerPoint. I'll put up a quick time player, go to file, and choose new screen recording. Okay, and there's a little button, this little screen pops up with a record button. But notice here, as I'm talking, you can see that my voice is being picked up by the microphone. Okay, if that doesn't happen, you click here on that little triangle and choose built-in microphone. Okay, all right, so I'm going to click record and I'm going to drag to record part of the screen. So I'm just going to select the part of the screen that I want to record, about that size, let's say. Okay, and I click start recording. Okay, so I've made this little PowerPoint, and I'm just going to go through it step by step. So I click, and area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. This is the base, that's the height. So I'm going to just put in that the base is 15, and the height is 24.2, divide by 2, and then so you can even record the calculator. So there's the calculator. 15 times 24.2, so 15 times 24.2 divided by 2 is equal to 181.5. Click 181.5 decameters squared. All right, so let's say I've recorded all that and I want to make that into a video. So I'm just going to go up to the top, uh, up into the menu bar, and I'm going to, there's a little circle with a little dot. That's your stop button. So I'm going to click that to stop recording. Okay, and then uh, to save it, I can just go to File, Save. Um, or I could just close that window. So if I close it, it'll say, all right, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as triangle video and save. So I want to edit that. So I'm going to bring it into, uh, there's a couple of different editing devices you can use. I think the easiest thing for everybody would be uh, to use iMovie. So I'm going to open up iMovie. And I'm going to go to projects and I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a movie, and then I'm going to drag some stuff in. I'm going to drag the movie wheel for it into here. So I'm going to go to my finder, and I'm going to go to my desktop where I save the movie. There's my triangle video. I'm going to drag it right down to here, just like that. Okay, um, so this is the timeline. Okay, so as we scroll along here, it brings us through the movie, and I can zoom in on that Okay, to make it really big, or I can make it really small. Okay, and as we press play, step by step, so I can click. Okay, you can hear my voice and everything, and you can see Area the individual words here. This is the base, that's the height. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm being called from yeah, there. So if I want to remove that part, I'm just going to come to here. Base times height divided by two. Okay, so I'm going to press I, so that's the, it selects in, so where you start the selection. Now let's say I want to go to. Yeah, I'm recording. So area of the triangle is based on height divided. So I'm just going to come to here. I'm going to press O. Okay, and then so there's the the start of the selection, the end of the selection. So you can start selecting by pressing I and end the selection by pressing O. And then I'm just going to press the delete button, and it's gone. Okay. Based on height divided by two. So area of the triangle is based on height divided by two. Okay. So I ha I said that twice. So I'm going to take away. I'm going to start from here. And I'm just going to press my O to there, and then delete. This is the base, that's the height. Base times height divided by 2. This is the base, that's the height. So I'm going to just put that the base is 15 and the height is 24.2 divided by 2. Okay, then I make and another mistake. You can even record the calculator. Okay, so I, we came into iMovie a little bit early by accident, so I'm going to remove all that. Divided by 2. Okay, so I'm going to start my selection there. Two, and then I'm going to stop. So you can even record the calculator. No, so I'm going to come to this point and I'm going to, so I'm going to press O. So there's my selection and then delete. You can even record the calculator. So there's the calculator. So I'm just going to and there we go. C and then 15 times okay, so that's how we edit it. Uh, you can you can add titles, you can add music. So if I wanted to add music, I could go and find a music file and drag it in the same way I dragged in this uh, the actual video clip. But I could go and uh, I could go to audio, so I could go to iTunes title. So I'm going to go to titles. There's all kinds of different titles you can play with those. I'm just going to drag that over here, and then I'm going to put. 
Okay, uh, you can put more text in. I'm just going to erase that. And there we go. At the end. Okay, that's still a bit loud. I'm going to drop that to 9%. All right, so I'm going to end it here. So I'm just going to press uh, my I, and then I'm going to click on that and delete all that. So let's say I wanted to put uh, a title at the end just to say end. So I'm just going to grab that one and put it to there. And I'm just going to put the word end. The end. OK, and I could stretch my sound so it just plays over the end like that. And I can fade it out like that. Okay, so when we get to the end of the movie. Okay. And there you go. And that's how to make a movie very quick and, and simply. Okay, so we can edit parts out, we can add sounds, we can add titles, and there we are. Okay, the last thing, I want to share this. Okay, so I think the easiest thing to do is just go to share and share it as a file. And I can give it a description is about uh, triangles. I'm going to change that to triangle and save. It'll export and it'll show you the progress. It shouldn't take very long. Now this is the downside to iMovie is it takes a while to to actually process the video because it's a very powerful tool. It allows you to do a lot of things that simpler and faster video editing software doesn't allow you to do. And it allows you to, to play with the speed you can manipulate the audio, you can put images in, you can put text in. You know, there's a lot of neat things that you can do. It's a fantastic tool and it's free and it comes with your mats. It's a good thing to use. Okay, so it's almost done. And once it's done, I can take that file, I can put it wherever I want, I can upload it to YouTube. And I think that's probably the easiest way to get it on the web. So get it to your students, upload it to YouTube, and away we go. And then we can link that. So I'm just going to do that. So into YouTube, click on the upload button. Click in. And it says select files to upload. And so I'm going to click that. And I'm going to go to my desktop where I just published the video. And there it is, triangle video MP4. And I'm going to choose open. And then you can write a description. Okay, and so I'm going to click Publish. So it doesn't take terribly long to upload. Okay, so now um, I have the link. Let me just copy that, and I can put it on my portal. Add to a portal. Here's this Here's the video. Just going to turn that into a link. Uh, I'm pressing Command K. Uh, you could also just click on the link button. Yep, yeah, link button. Um, but Control K, Command K will do it. So I'm going to press uh, Command K like that. And then I'm going to just get rid of that and paste in the link that they gave us. Okay, and save and save settings. And there we go. And that's it. It's there. So if I click on this, there we are in YouTube. Okay. Before GFR sees me. All right, and that's it. Have a good day.